Hey, what's up, guys? It's me again, Mr. 4K Upscaler, and uh, this is Legend of Zelda Breath of Wild. Um, you know, I never thought that it would be looking this good because I just couldn't believe that such a small device with a, you know, mobile, decent GPU would be able to upscale something like Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild into a 65-inch 4K TV. Obviously, the smaller TV you have, uh, the better it's going to look. And if you play it from your Nintendo tablet, it will look much better. But uh, still very impressive, uh, I do have to say so, uh, what I'm seeing here. What is this? Let's pick this up. Let's put it to my inventory. I'm trying to get familiar. Uh, what I'm doing here, I'm trying to show you this uh, game from different uh, viewing angles. I'm going to try to zoom in a little bit, bring it closer so you can see how it looks closer. All right, so I'm going to show it to you from this angle. This is looking from the left angle right here. So I want to just show you how it looks. Uh, look, graphically, sure, there's some jagged edges because this is not a powerful GPU. So there's going to be some jagged edges, but man, I... I I haven't even seen Xbox 360 games uh, look that good on the upscale, and this is pretty impressive so far. And you guys know I'm not a fanboy. You know I do have everything pretty much. You know I have a lot of things, but I give credit when it's due, and here I have to give my credit where it's due. So. Okay, what are we supposed to do here? Okay, I got it. Tree branch. Okay, I got it. I'm just, I'm in per process of learning like how to use the controls and everything and uh, Very colorful, very impressive. Let me turn off the lights. Let me see how it looks with the lights off. Let me turn off the lights a little bit. I want to see how it looks. I'm going to try to bring it a little bit here to this side. I'm going to do this like that. Try to bring it like to this side a little bit just to see how well it looks. Hold on. I'm going to hold the camera like this. And then I'm going to use my uh, controller like that. And I'm going to move it just to see how it looks. Um, not bad. I mean, sure, there's some bending light because it's an edge-lit TV. But all in all, uh, it's pretty good. Here, I'm going to show you to from this. This is from the center. This is like straight up from the center and the entire screen uh, is being filled up. This is like 65 inch and I tried to bring my camera as close, as close as I can so I can show you the entire full scope of the TV. And keep in mind this is 900, if I'm correct, 900 pixels, 900p upscaled to... 2160p to 4k uh, it's definitely definitely looks good what do we have here let's climb let's grab that hey Okay, let's try and take that. All right.
this is my first time playing this, so um, forgive me, you know, I'm trying to... There we go, we got it. Uh, this is my first time playing this game, so I'm trying to get used to the controls. Okay, there's another apple over there, I think. Let me go climb that rabbit. Oh, come on, dude. You can do better than that. I'm going to try and jump like this. Hold on. Got it. Got the apple. Okay, let's talk to this dude over here, whoever he is. Uh, for those of you who missed my... Uh, Custom picture settings here. Let me show you my custom picture settings right here. This is what I'm using right now I'm using a standard and I'll explain why here backlit 15 Because it's not HDR. You don't need to overkill your white balance. So keep the backlit at 15 Brightness I moved it down to 38 to get those deep dark levels as best as possible and trust me, I'm not crushing my deep dark levels here because this is edge lit TV. If I was doing this on the OLED, then I would be crushing my deep dark levels. Contrast 83. Uh, as I said earlier on my previous video, backlit and contrast, it's only maximum when you are running an HDR. This is not an HDR. Sharpness, I felt it needed a little bit more outlining because this is a uh, 900p game upscale to 4k color i felt it needed a little bit of that color pop i so i moved it up to 63. now here's the most important stuff all of these filters digital clean view turn that off auto motion plus turn that off smart leds turn that off uh hdmi black level keep it low and dynamic contrast Turn that off. You don't want the dynamic contrast. It's going to kill your white balance. You don't, you're going to lose the detail. You don't want that. Color tone, I keep it at the standard because it's a nice balance between warm temperature and cold temperature. Warm means yellow, sepia, and cold means blue. So, there. Again, this is the, the key thing right here is that gamma minus 3. Keep that gamma minus 3 on this uh, edge lit TV and you will get that deep dark levels watching it from the center. I guarantee you. Uh, color space, I keep it at native. That native color space that it should be. So that's pretty much what I'm using here. And uh, there's another apple right here. It is really a shame that uh, that Nintendo Switch doesn't have 4K HDR. I mean, uh, imagine this game running in native 4K and HDR. That would be just uh, true. Uh, this is why I was a little bit harsh in the beginning with Nintendo. Because why wouldn't you want your console to be powerful so you can take the advantage and make your games look beautifully on 4k with hdr like why wouldn't you want to do that why wouldn't you want to bring your universe of these rich characters bring him and make him look in a native 4k hdr make him look great that's why i was being a bit harsh in the beginning with nintendo but still look guys i'm still impressed what i'm seeing here considering that uh, this is nintendo switch and very impressed on how it looks on a big 65 4K a uh, 4K TV, so very impressed. All right, so this video is gonna end. Uh, oh, oh my goodness! Hopefully you guys like this. I need to run my ass off here. Come on. <laughs>